What's up my disc golfing friends? I wanted to test myself. I want to find out how much can I improve with seven days of continuous putting practice. Of course, this is one small problem. And the problem is pretty obvious. I love putting. I'm putting a lot. I'm spending hours a week putting. I can't improve that much in such a short period of time because I putt that much. But how about I switch hands? I putt with my left. Let's see how much putting every day for a whole week can improve my left hand putting. I got my station set up here. I will be using I will be using Perfect Putt 360 to keep scores and um, yeah, let the week begin. Feels really, really awkward. Okay, I don't know if you can see the last one because I hit and actually, anyways. So this was my first 50 putts. I think the biggest problem for me is that I know how to putt, but my left hand won't do as my brain tells it to do. So like, there's no movement in my foot, in my hips. It's almost only wrist action. All right, 50 more to go. So this is a score from first round. There is room for improvements. Oh, okay. Let's find a little bit of shade. All right, so that was a quick 100 pots uh, from the first 10, 15 feet, um, yeah, like normal numbers down here. <laughs> uh, it was no problem. I knew some of the flaws that you have as a very beginner, you know, high swing towards the basket, making it really hard to basically know what you're doing. So I focused a lot on trying to release it straight, trying to have my arms going like this towards the pole, because that's what I do on my other side. Uh, and also that's a really good tip to be a better putter is to have it drawing at a line at the pole and releasing towards the pole like you're shaking the hands with the pole it's a really good tip that I picked up during my my time with the clinics but it's really hard because like like I said from from 10 to 15 uh, feet no problem outside of that I really started to have to think about how I was going to create the snap towards the end to get the disc to the basket and what felt like a really good start on the last round um, ended up with no hits on the last two which is um, 25 and 30 uh, feet and uh, so my total so it's not that bad but like it's 80 for my very first left hand only putting practice uh, and that's going to set the standard for What's going to come next, basically? Um, how much can I, can I improve from those 80? I didn't count, but it felt like I hit maybe 35% of the butts now. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this week develops. Um, all right, now I'm going to have to do a right hand putting practice to gain some confidence because I'm not feeling really great. All right, let's get at it. It's Tuesday, day two, lesson learned from yesterday, from five meters and in, no problem, from five meters and out, a big problem to gain any power. Uh, and also a big thing which I learned was if I release it flat, it will fly easier further. Uh, in the beginning or in some of the punts, I had a lot of heiser, which just made everything a lot more complicated. So today I'm focusing on flat release as much as possible creating that spin towards uh, the heart of the basket. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. All 
All right, I'm actually starting a little bit worse than yesterday. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's 33 for the first round. I don't know where to release it. So like the height is pretty good, speed is good, but I'm like all over the basket, except for in the basket. Also, let me just take a second to acknowledge the fact that I'm wearing shorts and t-shirt in April. I mean, it's not normal, but it's also pretty darn nice. Slightly better second round, still worse than yesterday. I got a 69. So yeah, I was a little bit disappointing. It didn't feel as awkward as yesterday, but I was all over the place except from in the basket. The second day of this, uh, this test is that it feels less awkward, but it's worse than when it's awkward. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. All right, I'm going to sleep on it, and tomorrow is another day to improve. So it is Wednesday. It's the third day of my own personal little left hand challenge um, just to underline how crazy it is this is I got short sleeve I got a t-shirt I got shorts I don't even wear freaking shoes and we're talking the middle of April all right I'm about to bang out uh, 100 putts with perfect putt 360 I hit a 69 yesterday if I can do 70 that would be an improvement so so let's go for that <laughs> So, first round so far, 38, which is not great, but it isn't half bad. A little bit like yesterday, I feel that I'm not all over the basket, but uh, a little bit more purposeful. And at seven meters, I realize I'm not using my back leg. I started doing that and I hit four from nine meters, which um, I gotta admit, I never, <laughs> I've never been that excited of hitting 4 out of 10 from 9 meters, if you know what I'm saying. So I think we're onto something. Oh, okay. This concludes the, the third day of, of putting. I hit zero on my last one, hit up at 77, which was an improvement for yesterday, which is a positive. Starting to use the back leg a little bit helped. The wind picked up a little bit, so you know what? Um, I'm seeing some improvements. It feels a little bit more natural. I'm heistering out before the basket a lot, so there's a lot of spit outs today. Third day over, as always, I just think I need to do a little bit of right hand putting before I go in. If not, my motivation will be a lot down, but yeah. Good session, good 100 putts today. It's Friday, it's the fifth day of um, my left hand putting experiment and I am ready to break 100. Let's see if we can make it happen. <laughs> 43, really close to halfway to 100. Currently at 71. If I hit the first and the last one, there's extra points to be earned. And on the last one, nine meters is double points. There's still a chance I can do it. 80 points. If I hit the first one and the last one, it's over 100. Ooh, 82. Personal record and some room to improve. I get a good crowd with my kids here. So I'm sure I'm going to do it maybe tomorrow. That's two times. First round score. 44, need 56 to break 100, and uh, I think it's possible. It's 
Sunday, last round. Let's make it happen. So yeah, 56, great start. This is the last time I'm doing this with my left hand. And I've gotten closer and closer to 100. Let's try to make it 50 more putts. Cross my fingers. One hundred and eight. <laughs> Last day, finally, finally hit that hundred mark. Putting with my left hand. That was way more satisfying than I anticipated it to be. <laughs> Whoo! Straight now. I have no idea. So that concludes a full week of punting practice every day with my left hand. And this was a really fun experiment to do. Uh, before this, you could see first day, so insecure on my putting. And today, just much more confidence. Uh, I know what my hand was supposed to do, where to hit. Uh, getting out of the hand, I almost knew where it was going to go really fun to see the progress in such a short amount of time of course 700 putts within a week that's that's a lot of putts um but it just show how quick you learn uh, how to play this game uh, and of course it was for personal interest to see how fast i could learn it but it was also educational because i do a lot of clinics i do a lot of classes with uh, companies private persons schools and i wanted to test some of my own advice see what really makes a difference so my three favorite advice that i implied to myself during this uh, this week was one having an athletic stance making sure there was a weight shift. The second one, releasing the disc as flat as possible. My number one takeaway from it all was releasing towards the basket, towards the pole. Shaking hands with the basket was the really, for me, the advice that really made an improvement on my putting this week. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it because this was a lot of fun, a lot of unexpected fun to be bad at putting. <laughs> Thank you for following my journey, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.